Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be taking a look at Fedora 36 in a VM and more importantly, GNOME 42. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to prepare myself whenever GNOME 42 comes out in the Arch repos so that I can make the ALG GNOME edition accordingly. So Fedora really is the bleeding edge Linux distribution in my opinion because any of any software or any technology uh, that is new to the Linux world or the Linux distribution world in general is always tested out on Fedora and I believe it's also the upstream distribution to the Red Hat and Enterprise Linux. So on Arch currently we are still on, uh, if we are going to search for a GNOME shell, we are still on GNOME 41 by the way, over here, all right. And probably GNOME 42 might be in the testing repositories, but uh, the really good way to test out GNOME 42 is on Fedora. So here we are, these are the VM settings. Let's go ahead and start the VM and I'm just going to start the workstation live. So this is a beta ISO obviously uh, and I'll put link in the description where you can download this. So we should have the Plymouth of, Flood, uh, of Fedora and once behind all the systemd stuff is running. So once that's done, we are now in GNOME 42. Let me go to full screen. And here it is. So let me just go to activities and you can see this is the standard GNOME 40, 41 layout. So it's continuing in the same uh, the, uh, same series basically. So let's go ahead and first of all uh, install this to the VM drive. And this wallpaper is abstract. I personally don't like it. But anyways, so select my language, English. Uh, this is basically Anaconda, the installer for Fedora. And again, this is not something that I really do like. And uh, yeah, this is unstable. I understand I want to proceed. And then the system partitioning. So I want to use this uh, drive that I've selected for the VM. Click on done. And uh, for some reason, it failed the first time. So I'm just going to do it again. Probably it understands now because I want to go ahead with the automatic partitioning. So that's selected. And we can just go ahead and click on begin installation. So it's creating a ButterFS partition on SDA2. So it's creating two partitions for some reason. And we'll later on see what exactly is, what exactly those are. And uh, for now, I'll just sit back and wait for the installation to finish. And I'll be back when it's done. So there we are. We are finished. We are done with the installation. Basically, we can click on finish installation and uh, we can continue using this but I'll just go ahead and restart the system so I'll just power off because I need to unmount the ISO file so let's go ahead and remove this and now we can start and now we'll be greeted by grub so now we'll be prompted with setting up our user and uh, all of that stuff so welcome to Fedora Linux 36 start the setup uh, so we'll go ahead with all of the location services and automatic problem reporting because I want uh, Fedora to improve and I want to send if there's any problem. Anyways, we are in a VM, so all of these don't matter. And uh, yes, we can enable third party repositories that always helps with a lot of software that is not available uh, in the core repositories. Click on next. Uh, I don't want to connect any account right now. And then I can just go ahead and create a user here. And the username is fine for me and I can just go ahead and select a very strong and complicated password. This is of course an ode to DT <laughs> and all done. So we can start using Fedora Linux. So there, there we are basically, welcome to GNOME 42. And if you want to learn your way around, which I do want, so let's go ahead and take the tour. So let's start the tour, learn, learn the key features in Fedora Linux, okay, all of that is fine. Uh, you can press the super key to open. Yes, I know that that's same thing as GNOME 41 and even GNOME 40 for that matter. Just type to search uh, launch app. So if I can type in terminal, does that work? Uh, doesn't work here, probably because I'm in the VM or basically it means that press the meta or windows key and then type to search for the terminal. Okay, so that's what it means. And then, so that's again, pretty much uh, normal GNOME stuff, GNOME 40, 41 stuff. Uh, keep on top with workspaces. Okay, this is fine. 
yeah so this this feature up and down for the overview this is really for the laptop users so since i'm on a desktop there's nothing much i can do with this but definitely i would like to test this, test this out on a laptop so again this is something that i need to test out on a laptop so i'll be installing uh, probably gnome 42 with arch on my laptop and then i'll show you probably uh, how all of this works and that's it have a nice day and actually that's not pretty much it because there are a lot of new features that are baked in uh, one of them i really really liked uh, and something that ubuntu was doing in uh, ubuntu 20.04 is uh, dark mode so now finally gnome has it uh, built in so you can go ahead to settings i believe and uh, appearance and uh, dark theme so if you have seen my cute fish video you can see that this is pretty reminiscent of how cute fish have done it even all of these tabs here because i believe on gnome 41 it's pretty different but anyways it looks beautiful and we have a little bit more wallpapers that are available i love this this is amazing uh the aurora the northern lights whatever that that stuff is called and here we have basic gnome stuff so if i go to activities i open my i'm not pressing the uh, windows key because that will launch my plasma uh, that my host uh, app launcher that's why i'm not doing that but you can always press your windows key to get here right and you can always press here to see all of the applications installed so we have three of the LibreOffice suite uh, software that I can see here. So that is PowerPoint, Excel, and uh, I believe we have Word. Yep. And uh, there's no extra stuff. So there's no LibreOffice draw or anything like that. Uh, pretty neat in my opinion, because most of the time we'll just be using this. Uh, and I think there's no option in Arch repositories to just install three of these. Uh, when you install LibreOffice still or LibreOffice fresh, you always get like uh, five of the five or six of those applications, which include like LibreOffice Draw. All of these other stuff are standard uh, GNOME stuff except this. This is the Fedora Media Writer, so you can always uh, launch this and then you can make a bootable USB for yourself. That's that, and there's literally nothing more here because. We don't need anything more. This is what Fedora is known for, the simplicity and the bleeding edge software. So that's pretty much it. Let's go to, again, uh, settings, for example, and take a look at about Fedora. These are all my stuff, uh, my hardware stuff. So pretty much uh, same as what GNOME 40, 40 the, the whole 40 series had. Multitasking, uh, there is, oh, there's a a couple of features here so again this probably doesn't work in a vm a lot of the changes here that i can see are pretty much laptop uh, oriented uh, mobile mobile uh, computing oriented which is very very nice and i really appreciate it and i can't wait to get all of these things on alg's gnome edition so really happy with that i don't think there's a lot more to see except let's go ahead and take a look at Let's open the terminal here. Uh, so we are running, uh, what shell is this? Echo, uh, let's say shell. Uh, so we are running bash, all right, that's fine. So the package manager for Fedora is DNF. So sudo DNF, I believe we need to update. I'm not too familiar with DNF, by the way. So that's how we update in Ubuntu or the APT systems, basically. So I'm just applying that logic here. Let me just expand this. That's too much, I believe. So I think this is getting all of the third party repositories that we enabled in, uh, at the beginning. So that will enable us to get a lot of software that otherwise wouldn't be available to us. So I'm not going to, I think this is going to uh, download a gig of updates. So that's not what we want to do. Uh, let's go ahead and let's say sudo dnf uh, install neofetch because I think Fedora doesn't come with neofetch installed. So let's go ahead and install that. For some reason it's installing image magic. I don't believe a neofetch has anything to do with image magic, but anyways. Um, 
is there any way uh, tell me in the comment section to set the mirrors from where this is downloading because for example in arch we have pacman.d slash mirror list where we can uh, prioritize on the mirrors and then we also have refl uh, reflector but is there something like that uh, on fedora or red hat based systems really curious to know because uh, if i look at the download speed here it's not the fastest All right, so we have NeoFetch here. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. So we have Fedora Linux, uh, a brief overview of it, installation as well. And we also took a brief look at GNOME 42. So I believe won't be a lot of uh, task for me to do. I'll just have to grit uh, the entire theming of GNOME 41 that I have currently with the GNOME edition, move it to GNOME 42. Uh, and obviously they, those are not portable by the way if you are thinking that it's going to be like just going to move I'll have to redo the entire thing but it doesn't look like it's going to be uh, too difficult I believe so that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a nice day